Hey guys, um, so it has been a short while since I've done a video. Um, I might do one with the four vintage collection figures that I've um, picked up over the last week. Um, but I might uh, save that for later. So, um, I've finally gotten around to getting the Asmus Elven Warrior and Archer. Um, they are from the prologue of um, Lord of the Rings when Galadriel is, is doing this spiel about um, the last resistance of men and elves and you see Elrond um, in the past with the army of elves standing alongside um, or fighting alongside um, a sealed door and all those guys. Um, so I <clears throat> will go over the boxes. Um, there are some similarities so I'm going to go over the similarities first and then I'm going to tell you how they are different. So, um, the box for the Elven Archer, it does say Elven Archer, and it is this, um, more of a bronze colour, uh, and you can see that they've used, um, a picture of the actual figure, uh, rather than a stock picture from the film, um, which is fine. It does say Asmus, um, it doesn't have that little, um, metallic sticker that it normally has, um, but that still is on the numbered section, so I will show that in a moment. Um, some of the stickers are on the outside, some of those stickers are on the inside. Um, so that's fine. Uh, yes, yeah, so it says Elven Archer. Um, then when you open it and you get the tray is when you have uh, this piece here, um, which is where the metallic sticker is. As I said, normally this is on the front of the box, but it's inside, doesn't matter. Um, and then you get the little number, and this is 878 of 1500, um, which is quite nice. It's always nice getting a lowish number um, with these type of things. Um, considering since these were from pop culture and not as most, um, I used pennies to get the uh, $50 off. Um, so I paid five fifty for two instead of 600 for two um, with the free shipping. So yeah, that just goes on the inside, and you can see it's got the nice silhouette of the Fellowship, uh, which is quite nice. Alright, um, so with the accessory trays, the things that are identical are, both these guys do come with a shield. Now, the paint apps do look a little, f um, not cheap, but you can tell it's plastic, uh, which, given something like this... Uh, there's no way I would expect it to be die-cast, because the figures would never be able to hold it. Um, it does look golden, bronzy, it's got a bit of, like, uh, green to it as well. Um, perhaps it's aged or gone, um, sort of, um, oxidising, I suppose. Uh, the green looks nice in with the gold. Uh, it's been a very long time, um, since I have seen either, um, the Fellowship or the Two Towers. Um, but these guys are definitely supposed to be from the beginning of, um, Fellowship, but there's a feature that I will touch on, um, that kind of hints that they may do the second design, uh, from Two Towers. Um, so yeah, the paint up on it is decent enough, and it looks quite nice. This shield is huge, that's where you would hold it. Um, the second thing that is the same about them is... Underneath both trays, so both uh, figures do have multiple trays, underneath the last tray of each figure is one of these. Now this is die cast, um, but you can see it's freaking massive. It's um, that much taller than the figure. Um, so it's, yeah, they do use these. Um, so they fire their bows and then they pull these out and then um, go at it when all the orcs charge them. Um, Mount Doom in the beginning. Uh, so yeah, you can just see that this thing is massive. Um, it is die cast, the end is die cast, which is very cool. You can see again that it's got, um, that engraving stuff that Asmus is known for. I really like Asmus's, um, die cast stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, now the other thing is, is they both do come with a helmet. Um, paint up is pretty similar, uh, with both of them. Um, and this is a flexible plastic, so it just sits on there, um, and then it's harder towards the top. Um, but again, it's got engravings and stuff on it. It does look quite nice. Um, it is just plastic. But if, uh, you have the Elrond already, <clears throat> the Elrond already, uh, you would know that they 
wanted to keep the production costs low. So unlike Gimli, um, they didn't use die-cast um, chainmail or anything, but the Elrond is the same. All right, the last thing that is identical about these guys, um, they do come with a separate uh, set of wrist pegs, but they also come with the same base set of hands. Uh, so there are uh, gloved hands. There is two-fisted hands. Um, the gloves are quite nice. The detailing on them is fine. Put those back. Uh, and then we do get the hands for holding the, I suppose you can call it a spear, um, slash shield. So like I said, you do get a shield with regardless of which one you buy. You get the helmet with one regardless of which one you buy. And you do get the big, um, spear polearm thing, um, regardless of which one you buy. Which is quite nice that they gave you those, um, options. Um, there is a relaxed set of hands as well, which is already on the figure. I haven't swapped anything out. Um, now, the difference is I will do the uh, warrior first because he's got the least amount of difference. Um, so he comes with this extra tray here, uh, which houses a scabbard and a sword. Um, so this is the sword that they use at Mount Doom. Um... Again, very nice detailing on the scabbard, and yes, it has proper straps that you have to tie yourself. Uh, that's the only real thing I don't like about Asmos, because I am terrible at tying straps um, and whatnot. But hey, it's there. Um, you can leave it off if you choose to. And then we get a very nice die-cast elven sword. This thing is heavy. Um, so you can see very cool paint up on the handle. And... While this blade itself isn't long, um, it's very damn cool, and let's face it, the elves always have these um, when they make appearances in Lord of the Rings. So, very um, cool that we get those. Um, so, no knives with this guy, unfortunately, but um, I suppose it was only really Legolas that did that. I'm just checking my other accessory tray. No, so that's identical. Ooh. Yeah, so um so with the warrior you get this guy shield this guy helmet and the set of hands that I showed you before are uh, with the display stand. Um, now the Archer is arguably probably better value. Um, I wanted both because I um, do like Lord of the Rings a lot and um, I did want two of the different characters uh, because obviously if you are going to purchase two of the same one uh, they are going to have the same head sculpt, um, and as Musma nice enough that the Archer and the um, Warrior do have separate sculpts. Alright, so, the other box. Um, I know I accidentally showed you the Archer box first, but that's alright. Um, so this one does say Elven... So this one does say Elven Warrior. Uh, it's a green colour this time, and it shows off the accessories that I just showed you there. And the numbering uh, is exactly the same. This one is 972, though. Um, out of 1500, it's the exact same sticker and that there as well. So, as I said, you get the shield, the helmet, the hands that I just showed you. What is different, this guy, though, is he does have an additional tray underneath that. And... We get a longbow. Um, I'll take it out. Uh, so this bow again is massive. You can see how tall it is with the, next to the figure. Um, again, the paintwork on it is fantastic. I don't think it's going to focus though. Um, just got that kind of um, 
elven symbol going down it that's there um, other than that it is just a straight brown and you have quite a tight string um, so longbow if that's what you choose and then you have an additional tray which I will go over in a moment um, they are two additional hands for holding bo the bow and drawing the string back so um, that one there is the drawback hand, that one there is the holding hand, I would assume. You do get quiver, you do get a number of arrows, and then you get a short bow. So as I said, just because you do get the two different bows, um, the archer probably is They're slightly better value of the two. Um, and I mean, you, there's nothing stopping you from giving the other figure the second bow. Um, it just will be a bit weird because you won't have the second uh, draw hand. Because the draw hand in this tray with all the arrows uh, is exclusive to the archer. Um, so yeah, these clamshells are always um, tight together, which is always a huge plus with as moss. Um, very rarely have any loose accessories uh, when I get stuff from them. Um, so there's the slightly different um, paint application on the short bow and it obviously fits in the frame so you can see that it is, while it's still tall, um, it's nowhere near the size of the longbow. Um, it's still very cool, and the string is still tight, uh, which is cool. Um, so again, we have a quiver that you do have to tie around. The instructions do show you how to do that. Um, so again, you have that really cool detail going around the quiver, similar to the longbow. Um, and you do have all these arrows here. Um, so plastic feathering, but the paint app is still fine, and they have golden tips uh, and you get ten of those uh, which is quite cool so these are the hands that I was talking about before um, so there's your draw hand and there's probably and there's your holding um, onto the bow hand so these hands are exclusive to the archer and you're, um, you're only going to get it with the archer. Um, so that's as far as it goes for accessories. Um, but it's quite cool. All right, so both of them do have the same display stand. Um, it is just this black as must stand that says Lord of the Rings. Um, and then there's a little um, copyright thing there. Um, and then there's n not really anything on the back, on the bottom, just to say that it was, uh, that it's Asmus Toys and that they designed this stand in 2012. Um, why the stand itself has the old date on it, I don't know, but that's fine. Um, oops. Um, but it's just the normal cradle stand that they use. All right. So, uh, head sculpt wise, um, paint application on the sculpt is quite cool. As I said, they've used fabric. Um, instead of chainmail. As far as I know, Gimli is the only character that I use proper chainmail for. Um, the new Aragon might have diecast chainmail, I can't remember. Um, I don't have that one. Um, so you can see that he has red pants under the blue. Uh, this part here is probably a bit too long as it does drape down past his boot. It does look a little bit silly, but I'm sure that you can futz around with it or tuck it in or do whatever. You can probably even pull it up if you really wanted to. Um, because this part here and this part here are two separate pieces. Um, so you can probably push that up further if you wanted to. Um, but the fabric chainmail does mean he has a fair bit of articulation, um, which is cool. And we get this nice blue cape as well. Um, now, the reason why I said that, um, I'm not too sure if this is, a, I know they had the capes, but in, um, Two towers when the elves come with Hilda to help out Aragon. They're not wearing helmets. Instead, 
they're wearing the rain coat hoods. Um, because they're standing out in the rain, right? Um, so these have those if you don't want to use the helmet. Um, which is very cool. Um, if I was going to get an extra one, I would probably get an extra archer. Um, so I could have one with the short bow, one with the long bow, and then I could have one with the raincoat and one with the helmet. Um, but yeah, the sculpt's nice. There's no hair on any of here. Um, so you, that just pulls back. I'm not going to remove the whole thing because I don't know how hard it is to get back on. Um, there's some strapping in there. Um, it will show you how to, like I said, you can futz around with this back part too to get it looking um, quite nice. The material uh, is pretty good material. Like I said, this is more of a rain coaty umbrella type of material, um, which is fine. It'll probably just take a bit um, to play around with. So the helmet, getting the helmets on is super simple. They just slide over and then you just um, sort of position around where you want it. Um, so it sits like that. So again, if you have one helmeted and then one unhelmeted, you're probably not going to realize that it's the same head sculpt uh, anyway, because um, the sculpt is pretty hidden uh, with the helmet. And both of them, as I said, do have an identical um, helmet. But the detailing on the chest place like Elrond is quite nice. And again, this is a very pliable plastic. Um, so I don't think you're going to mess with anything. And again, these pa the pants are... Um, pretty loose too, and there's uh, quite a fair bit of um, articulation in at the boots and stuff too. Um, so you're going to be able to get a lot of articulation out of these guys, um, as most generally do pretty well articulated figures, um, which is fantastic. Alright, so the other character um, is pretty much identical, uh, but the sculpt is different. Um, so you can see that he probably has a slightly better sculpt. Now, I don't know um, what the deal is, but this guy here um, has a stiffer neck joint uh, than the other one. Um, I almost thought that maybe the head wasn't on the joint uh, when they shipped him, um, but it appears that he is. It's just looser. Um, and he doesn't have as much as a as much, oh yeah, it does come down. Um, so you can just push that up to make the gap um, in between the shoe and the boot go away. Um, but again, the outfit is completely identical. You do have the hood if you want to use the hood. Um, and you can, exactly the same, just slide the helmet on. It's probably going to sit slightly higher up on this guy. Oh no, there it goes. Um, so yeah, it's obviously going to be up to you where, the way you have it. Um, and it's going to take some futzing to get it looking perfect. Um, but either way, I'm pretty happy to have these guys. Definitely putting them with Elrond um, and Theandriel. So yeah, that's going to be cool. And there's those relaxed hands I was talking about earlier. Um, same red pants, same blue coat, same blue... Um, and you can see what I mean there, that it does go way past the shoes. Um, like I said, you can probably tuck it in, it just looks a bit, it just looks a bit, um, silly, uh, being so long. Um, but that could be accurate to the, uh, film. Um, you do not see these guys for long, because they are only in the, um, at opening prologue. Um, but just to give you a comparison, there's the shield. Um, you can see that it comes up to his waist. Uh, so this is a pretty big shield, um, and as I showed you before, even if with the relaxed uh, hands, um, the power arm is going to is going to go way past them. Um, so probably not an ideal accessory for a detoff, um, but it is cool to have it nonetheless. Um, Alright guys, this has been a quick look at the Asmus Elves. Um, thanks for watching.